And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Demir Control to kick off our 5-0 Friday stream. We got three decks today uh, that we're going to be playing that were a uh, list that went 5-0 on Magic Online this past week. Magic Online publishes lists that go 5-0 from um, or on Monday and Thursday, and so going through both of those. Our metagame's pretty solved right now. There's not too many spicy things in the 5-0 decklist dumps right now. Uh, a lot of food, which makes it Hawkeye's favorite uh, metagame right now with all this food everywhere. As you can tell. Um, <laughs> but uh, also, um, but there's was, there was a couple ones. So we're going to go with the, this Demir Control, which could be called Demir Flash also. Uh, but I think I'm going to call it Demir Control um, instead. Um, but it is kind of a, a flash style deck because of Brineborn Cutthroat being a win condition here to try to um, finish games out. But you know, it's not all just instant speed stuff. Of course, Gadwick, as we've seen in the Azorus control decks, is a really good way to refill your hand. Um, then it has Duress instead of Thought Erasure because it wants the one mana instead of two mana um, for that for that effect. I suppose there we got a Dream Eater at the top. That's pretty sweet. Um, a spyglass in here that can, I don't know, spy on some glasses, I guess. And a pretty cool looking deck. The Rakdos Knights that we're going to be playing in a little bit has uh, Oathsworn Vampire. So that's, it's definitely not Oathsworn Vampire. Sorry, Oathsworn Knight. That's the name of the card. That's a card that I haven't played at all. So that's why I wanted to play that one. And then we're also just going to get some good old fashioned Gruel Aggro. Because um, I haven't really played that kind of deck. Um, play the gruel adventure but not just good old questing beast uh, you know gruel spellbreaker into questing beast and stuff like that so that's our other 5-0 list for today um we're gonna be playing five matches in ranked with each deck um seeing how they go with the five matches maybe we can uh get five o's ourselves, or you know we'll kind of see how the decks play out and everything like that all right but this is our deck demir control all right, so over to traditional, standard, ranked. Oh, what's the new festival? This just came up here today, sorry. Uh, so there's standard Cascade. Okay, and then it has all these cards banned in Cascade. Lucky Clover. Okay, and so that's in 35 hours. We'll be doing that on Sunday. Cool. All right, anyway. Oh, no, no, I don't want to play Grixis of Mass. No, cancel. Ooh, the cancel button worked. We're so lucky, Hawkeye. Give me your control. Yeah, it's, it's basically Demir Flash. Demir Flash Control. That's not a great name, is it? All right, we're at number 159. We'll see where we end up today at. All right, so Gadwick's, like, uncastable. Essence Capture is pretty uncastable. Dream Eater, super uncastable. Our, our, our hand's pretty uncastable. Let's mulligan. All right, a much more castable hand. Now, Gadwick would be, like, the card to put back because we can't really play that. All right, so we're going to do that. But Gadwick can be, you know, if we can use all this other stuff to stabilize, it could be, like, the card to help out and pull us ahead hopefully we get a witch's oven uh then uh then oh no there's two of them no well one down Oh, sorry. Sorry, I hit the mic there. I was just having Hawkeye go. He's like, ooh, water. 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 Darn, I was hoping they are going to play the Gilded Goose, of course. All right, so this is pretty bad. Um... 
Yeah, not exactly sure how we're going to be beating this, to be honest. A third witch's oven? That's crazy. All right, so I need to draw that Gadwick back again. It looks like they're just soul tie, but they, they could, of course, be four color also. Um, but with already with basic forest, basic swamps, it looks like it's just soul tie. Oh yeah, we got that spyglass in, in our deck. That'd be a good one to draw. Yeah, that'd be great. So if I get one more land, then we can start activating Castle. Kind of wish I would have put the Noxious Grass back and kept that Gadwick. But I guess this wouldn't be like the, the best time to play Gadwick, because if I play Gadwick, and then they just draw land and play Midnight Reaper, I'm in trouble. Hey, Nug. No, not a land. And not a spy glass. At least my opponent's clock is a little bit slower. They could have dealt like an extra like three damage so far by attacking, and they haven't done that at all yet. So it's a little bit slower. So, you know, it's like an extra turn. See, they're just not even having it on the battlefield to attack with. Um, exclamation point deck. You can see the deck list. Okay. Oh, there's Spyglass. I can also copy paste. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you got it. Oh, come on. A Knight of Autumn? That's ridiculous. What's that Night of Autumn is doing?
All right, get these Cryocarnariums in here. Legion's ends. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to be playing Spyglass or not. And Spyglass is definitely good against them, but they just Knight of Autumn my Spyglass. It's pretty bad. Oh, well, we'll get them in here. I think the Braves and Borrowers honestly aren't that great. Kind of the same with Duress. But I'm not sure if I want to just play no Brazen Borrower. All right, so we're going to cut two, two Borrower, two Dress. Not, um, not the best hand. But we'll see. Gadwick's pretty powerful. It's a Veil of Summer, huh? That'd be nice if Brazen Borrower could bounce our own things. You can see, like, Brazen Barber is just not, not very good here. This is why I, um, I cut two of them. It's not doing a whole lot. I mean, I guess besides just being, it's just going to be a 3-1, I suppose. bounce any of these things.
All right, time to just start um, attacking with the borrower, I suppose. There's nothing really to bounce here. Oh, that is perfect. That's the card right there. That's a good one. Um, all these cards are pretty good, honestly. I guess we get rid of the opt. I guess I'll get rid of this. Oh, it's not like that card's bad. Alright, so my Brazen Borrower is going to die. But we're going to get rid of everything that they have. Here. Well, wait. I shouldn't have blocked there. I should have taken that. That was a bad that was a really bad block by me. I just wanna play this other Gadwick. Hey, Agonaba.
Okay. Alright, so we're going to a game three. Maybe I take out these quenches, especially on the draw. Like, they're going to have a lot of mana. Doesn't feel like quench is going to be countering things. I mean, maybe they won't have a lot of mana. They're not playing tons of lands. All right, we'll just keep them. Could take out, like, one for a negate, though. Hey, what's up, Frank? It's going good. We're just... Yeah, we just started our first match here. Yeah, Borrower is not spectacular. It's mostly just going to be a 3-1 Flash Flyer to kind of help close out games. You know, we could pair it with, like, Brian Bourne Cutthroat, get some good pressure on the opponent. So, yeah, just in time. Spells. It's technically a spell. If I would have got rid of it, I would have just drawn this swamp still. So, of course, we, we just kind of have to fire off Quench anytime it will actually counter something. So, like, basically, if my opponent plays anything at all, they get squenched. Which, that's a good one. Anyway. But we'd be firing it off. We need another instant. <laughs> we need another instant. Let's see what else they got going on over here. Wicked Wolf and Vraska Golgari Queen. So if they get Ethereal Absolution next turn, what's my plan against Ethereal Absolution? I don't think I have a great one right now. I'm glad we have those Brazen Borrowers. We can bounce this thing. Ah, we got a plan. Draw some cards. It's always a good plan. Never mind. Not always a good plan. <laughs> hey, Liam's Happy Friday. Not always a good plan. So they can make one, two, two. Uh, 
Uh, <clears throat> did I counter this? I wouldn't mind finding another Gadwick. Yeah, Spyglass is naming this Vraska here. Yeah, so, yeah, Spyglass would be playable if it only cost one and you didn't see their hand. Yeah, that's Pithing Needle. It's a very good card. Pithing Needle can can be non... Or, like... Oh, wait, so Pithing Needle is also in less their man abilities? Okay, never mind. I thought the Pithing Needle, needle stopped man abilities, too. Well, I guess, I mean, you can't name... Never mind. No, that's not the difference. What's the difference? I thought there was a difference between the two. Okay, we could really use one of our other Gadwicks. We're gonna have 10 mana. We would draw seven cards if we draw a Gadwick. How many lands we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But then we're taking one out, so there's twelve more lands left in the deck. So a third of the deck. We have two castles, so like if we're going to draw these lands, at least it would have been nice to have a blue castle to do some scrying. Leave before I make you disappear. All right, it's time for another Gadwick. It's not even a good card to counter. I just want the surveil. Basically like drawing a card.
It's a good draw. Get to go search for something. <laughs> You're so landlocked, I got a beach house I can sell you in Ohio. Oh, that's pretty bad. Why do I have to draw all three quenches? Yuck. Okay. So we saw 15 of our lands. Of our, tw of our lands that game. I guess there are 25, but... I drew that Gadwick, and I was, I was like, happy we had our six mana, and I was like, ooh, Gadwick, that's gonna be good. And then Gadwick just... We're gonna, like, you know, Gadwick for... Um, Gadwick for three, this will be nice, and three cards are island, island, island. It's unfortunate. Alright, moving on. Got a good looking hand here on the play with Brineborn Cutthroat. Good old mono blue plus this expensive dream eater over here. I don't think I'm going to cast Opt yet. I think I wait. Obviously, I, I really want a third land drop, though. That's the thing. This deck has 25 lands in it, though, which is quite a bit. So I feel like we're going to draw a land in one of our next two draws. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, I should have said a non-Fable Passage land, because that land comes into play tapped. Basically, because I would like to have Mystical Dispute up, or like Dispute, Opt Opt. No, there's no Lockmere Serpents in here. Go get him, Cutthroat. Merfolk is born to brine. I don't even know what that means. So it makes sense to go get a swamp here since I don't have black mana, but then also if you look at like my mana costs. May not need to do that.
kind of feel like my opponent has Brazen Borrower for how they're acting. I mean, they could just be Goose Activation, though. Oh, well, we'll do it. I hope it's not Brazen Borrower. All right, I don't want another one. Now I want to land. Boo. It was Borrower, and I didn't hit a land. And I drew two black cards. Worst possible. <laughs> yeah, Opt's a really good card. Elemental friend. All right, black mana. Yay. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, not too good at all. Took the disdainful stroke to help out Dream Eater. That helped out. Four cards in the graveyard. Ugh. Now this would counter Anissa. But a little late for that now. Yeah, I have, to, I have to get another mana for Dream Eater. Assuming they're going to double block the Cutthroat, and then we can uh, drown in the lock. One of the blockers. Hmm. Okay, they're not doing that.
So I shouldn't really let them untap and have like the, the two mana with all these and everything. Wow. Well, there goes four lands. It's a good surveil four. I guess. You know, you would prefer to get rid of like three lands and then put like some good card on top. We will not fail. Sure you won't. They didn't crack a food at the end of their end step. I, mean, I should have blocked the breeding pool, but whatever. I should have blocked breeding pool. So there is, the reason why I'm making this block is because I'm assuming they're just going to have one blocker now. And then I kill the blocker, and then we do 10 to them, and they gain 3 life, but they're, they're still at 10. So I assume this is going to be lethal here, depending on what they drew. Oh, come on. A hexproof creature? you got to be kidding me. Oh, this is this is not good. So they have hexproof. It's like the only thing they could have drawn to keep them alive this last turn was that was a Paradise Druid. Alright, well I guess I have to counter Oko, which means I'm going down to one now, because I don't get to kill a creature. Wow. Paradise Druid. If they just any other thing in their deck, because remember they had to play Nissa that turn. Like there's nothing else in their deck that was going to keep them alive. So my hope here is drawing, my only hope is drawing Gadwick.
And now I have to Gadwick for... <laughs> Gosh, this is going to be so impossible. I need... Because I can't hit Drown in the Lock. So I need... I need to hit Brazen Borrower now. Oh my god, but I have two Brazen Borrowers down here. Yeah, it has to be Brazen Borrower. So we have to just luckily hit our fourth Brazen Borrower. And we have two shots at it. Oh, uh, wait. So, what, two? So, we have to just draw our fourth Brazen Borrower and one of these top two cards. Or double opt. Oh, uh, if I would have just. Ugh. Okay, wait. So, we could opt for a land. Oh, it's tap non-land permanent? Well, this doesn't even work. Can I go Z? Can I undo? Oh, it doesn't even work. It's tap non-land permanent. Right, because you can't tap lands down. But right, these are... Yeah, they can't even tap these things. And... And Barber doesn't even bounce lands anyway. So this this just that didn't work, like, in, in any sense. I should not have cast this opt right now. Okay, I didn't really have out. I didn't really have outs then. I thought I may have had an out. We were close. No, I can't live another turn. See, this is why Spyglass isn't good. Like, they're just playing Brazen Bar where they'll bounce it. Spyglass is not very good. Man, I had a great hand that time, too. I mean, even if I would have opted on their turn and tapped the Brazen Borrower, I wouldn't. I would have still been taking Lethal. Because I can't tap. I can't tap the lands and I can't tap Paradise Druid. The only thing I could tap would be the, the Brazen Borrower. I still would have taken Lethal. I like all 62 of these. Like, I like all of these cards. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be cutting. I like all these cards. I mean, I guess Drown in the Lock, I guess. Maybe a Duress. Duress is pretty good, though. I guess those are the two cards I'm cutting now. I like that we'll be able to dress first before I opt, so I so we'll have more information on what we want to do. I like that.
I really thought we were winning that though whenever I blocked with the Dream Eater. Cutthroat's a spell, <clears throat> but it doesn't beat Nyssa. And obviously, like, they're, they're, <clears throat> all they need is a land drop to play Nyssa next turn, and Cutthroat was not good enough to beat Nyssa. Yeah, the next BNR announcement's on Monday. Well, we got four, four Noxious Grasps in here, and a bunch of Ether Gusts. All right, so it looks like they are wanting to hold up. They likely have Veil of Summer, and they're willing just to pass there instead of just play Nissa. I need to find any, like, two-mana spell to be able to play with Cutthroat to make Cutthroat bigger than the land that they'll make. Thanks, Janini. You should never opt on your own upkeep. If, that's, if your question was, should we opt on our upkeep, that's... It's much better just to draw a card and um, and then see what happens.
Ooh, they're just making a food? Wow, if they draw an expensive spell here for turn, they're dead. Hopefully they draw something that costs four plus mana. Oh, no. Uh, that's still, that's gonna kill them though, right? I guess they have to... No, like that's... Yeah, they're dead, right? Yeah, they're dead. I <laughs> haven't seen such a long stack since War Release. Man, Opt was so good for us, getting all these counters on Cutthroat and everything. Opt was very good. Very, very good. All right, so they're playing Questing Beast and Wicked Wolf. Now we'll get this Disdainful Stroke in here, too. I'm not dead yet. I don't think we have room for it, though, honestly. I have to cut, like, Dream Eater or something. Or Sinister Sabotage. Or Duress. I could cut the Duress. No, we'll just go with the Disdainful Stroke. <laughs> if we tap the Goose hard enough, it'll do a 360. How many times do we keep on tapping it? All right, well, if they have that Yorvo again, that would be a problem. Maybe they won't have turn one Goose. Mm, I don't like that card. Basically Yorvo. I'm glad we didn't cut a land. I'm basically playing the swamp here to kind of spook my opponent. It is technically better to play the I, the castle to have double mystical dispute up, but I I, I, know, I didn't want the I don't want them to play the love struck beast, and I was thinking that maybe if I play the swamp, maybe they won't play the love struck beast. It didn't work out, as you can tell. That's what I was hoping. Looks like I should have cut a dispute for a. for a disdainful stroke. Looks like we're dead. I just played the quenches. the answers in the world to Oko, but 5-5s five and 4-4 four, four hastes kill you a lot quicker, and I didn't have any answers to those. So we're 0-2. Oh Um, I didn't. I didn't have any specific one deck to hit Mythic with. I, I, I basically do what I do here. Is I, I play like four or five different, four or five matches with three or four decks a day. I don't. I don't always do ranked, but it, I don't like play one deck a lot. Um, I guess the deck that 
we ranked up the most with was the Orzhov Troll Knights, and that was the deck that I actually got to Mythic with, but I only played 10 ranked matches with that deck, but that's probably more matches than I played with anything else still. Uh, there is a video on YouTube where we play Esper Dance, yes. It was from a while ago, and I we just lost basically all of our matches, and I really didn't like the deck at all, honestly. So it's, it's not the best video. If you're looking for, like, Esper Dance videos, uh, mine with Esper Dance is not very good, to be honest. That's maybe my worst video from the format. So just what, you know, I'm just trying to be truthful there. I'll shut down Teferi. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, you're always late. Could have said Castle Ardenvale. Make another move. So threatening. So I'll take the insight that that's going to count as two cards that they could have grabbed. But they can't anymore. Only time will tell. Yeah, they're trying to... Trying to wipe up some time here. I can no longer stand by and watch. That's how it was meant to happen. Hey, Kiwiki. Or Quickwee? It's probably Quickwee. Hello. <laughs> Giovanni, you're playing against the Mardu enchantments right now? Cool. And there's Castle Ardenvale. And I kind of wish I would have just said the first time. Mm. 
No, it was definitely worth it just to say Teferi. Uh, they cannot activate Castle Ardenvale, so we're good there. Obviously, if they drew counter magic, this is very bad for me. But I'm going with the, the high upside of trying to win the game. Winning games is valuable. Oh, yeah. Definitely played a lot of Scarab God decks. When it was in standard. So four. I don't think they'll have qu like. It's better just a shock here to play around quench. I think. All right, I still don't want Spyglass with all the Brazen Borrowers around. Still don't want those. Um, I'm gonna bring in extra Noxious Grasps though, because I, because you know, like we have to kill Teferi. I think that's gonna be the. The critical thing, we gotta be able to kill Teferi. Um, could keep Could keep Essence Capture for Gadwick. It's not the worst idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a borrower. Yeah, Cauldred Familiar Witches of Index. They're pretty good. Like it's a it's a really good solid combo to have. Um, I don't think you necessarily want to just completely rely on those two cards, but and as you know, like the only thing that you got going on. But yeah, I like them. They're good. No, we have we have duress, duress, noxious grasp in the main. Um, also, drown in the lock. It's another main deck black card. Kind of just clearing out some lands out of the deck. If they don't hit, if they don't draw a land, they just have to go to discard, which we will gladly let them do. If I play opt here, they could just even go like mystical dispute, and just make me pay an extra three mana. Oh, I guess I, I could have activated Castle there. I should I should have activated Castle. That was that's something I should have done. I 
I should have done that last turn. For example, I would put this Noxious Grasp down to the bottom. Frogger 3D with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Frogger 3D. Thank you. One card in hand that I don't know about. If that card's a counter spell, we probably lose. If it's not, we do okay. I didn't I didn't use like any specific deck a lot to get to mythic. Just all the different stuff that we play on stream. Did a lot best of one also on Mondays. Card wasn't a counter spell. Basically, I mean, like, I could have let that resolve in the next turn Noxious Grasp it. Maybe I should have just done that. I didn't want them, like, if I let them resolve that, they could Gadwick for one, bounce the Gadwick. So, like, basically draw two cards. I don't know. I don't love that. 
But these Noxious Crafts don't do anything but kill Teferi, so I traded a, a much more valuable card for a lot, much less valuable card there. To have them not be able to just draw two. My opponent having Chemistry's Insight and me not having Chemistry's Insight is probably going to be where this game's decided. And, and maybe match, honestly. Dawn of Hope. Alright, looks like I need a different sideboard plan. All right, so I'll try. Um, so yeah, the quenches are—they're just kind of tough in those control matchups that go so long and everything. So I'm gonna get rid of get rid of um, so many quenches, and I'm gonna play the other disdainful stroke and uh, essence capture. Even though those two cards don't do a ton, uh, they're mostly for countering Gadwick. Uh, the deck's been okay. Uh, we were pretty unlucky to lose our last match against the the Simic deck. You know, like we we played three games and one of the games we were obscenely favored, where my opponent could only they only had one card in their deck that they could have drawn to stay alive and and uh, stabilize, and that was a Paradise Druid, and they drew a Paradise Druid. They only had two mana. So that was unfortunate. But. So we lost that one. But so like we're we're that close to being one and one instead of 0 oh and two. They're going to have more counter spells than I do. So it's good to get things in play. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, like these these are so it's like a five zero Friday. So the, these are these are not decks that I put together. These were all five zero lists from Magic Online. So um, I, I don't know if Thought Dis Distortion was considered for the deck. Um, I don't know. I I don't think I would want to play Thought Distortion. It's awesome in this matchup, but this is kind of like the matchup for it. I don't know if it's going to be good enough in a lot of other matchups. That's a rough land for them to draw for me. Oh my gosh, I didn't play my Water Grave. <laughs> I like clicked like, okay, like combat's done, but I just clicked okay one too many times. I didn't play my Water Grave there. Well, that hurts. That two time wipes. So they're set up pretty good. So they're just going to clear the board. They got Castle Arden Vale, Brazen Borrower, Insight, and this other land. They're set up pretty good. Hmm, not clearing the board.
Hey, Lebo. Raisin Barber. Darn. Seriously, how many of these things you got? I'm no the fourth, excellent type. Third. No, I am not making this up as I go. We will meet again. We're in pretty bad spots here. Thank me later. Here goes nothing. So I, I'm, I'm still in a whole lot of trouble. With trying to deal with this brazen borrower. Then even if we deal with it, then they get to go wide with Castle Arden Vale. Like this, this game is pretty over. I have to find like Brazen Borrower to block with, basically.
There's some real frustrating draws there. All right, well, we've played this deck for an hour and a half. I said we're going to be playing five matches, but there's a couple frustrating losses, the last two that we just had there. We've been playing for an hour and a half. We'll, we're going to move on to the next deck. So I, I mean, I can't really say this deck felt better than Is It Flash. Like this is, it's very similar to the Is It Flash deck, but you know, like we don't have Bone Crusher Giants. Um, Spyglass was incredibly disappointing. The Drown in the Locks were good though. Like this is this is definitely a good Drown in the Lock deck because this deck can put put uh, cards into the opponent's graveyard pretty effectively. So I wish we had like more drown in the lock. I I hated these spy glasses. I wish we had um, just just other like just counter magic or removal or or other things. Um, it felt like we could have had like a little bit more kind of removal like tyrant scorn or something. A little bit better removal. The cry of the Cornelians were good. Gadwick still awesome. Absolutely love Gadwick in these blue decks, but um, black didn't really seem like the best splash color. Um, yeah, like is it deck? There's there's the is it deck that's similar to this, and the Azorius deck that's similar to this, and I think I like both of those more than than this Demir that we were playing. But that's that's what we do here on on Five O Fridays. We try out different decks that have been that had done well online and see how we like them and stuff like that. Um, but this one, unfortunately, not too. Um, not too impressive. Um, should we play? Yeah, we should play the Azoria Circle deck again. Yeah, that was a really fun video. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably play that again this weekend. That's a good, that's a good, uh, suggestion there, Trent, because yeah, that Azoria Circle was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, thought, questions, like, what about Thought Erasure? I mean, Thought Erasure is an amazing card. I understand playing Duress instead, though. Wanting to get one mana, just get a cheaper card with like everything else costing two mana also. I, I can understand playing Duress instead. But yeah, Thought Erasure is amazing. <clears throat> if you're on the draw and your opponent has turn one Goose, turn two Oko, you have to be able to stop that on your turn one. And so that's why having a one mana card like Duress is really valuable there. But okay, anyway, there we go. That's Demir Control. Um, if you're watching it on YouTube, uh, hit that like button and also leave some comments. Um, you know, like let let me know if if you've tried this deck before. Let me know how it's going for you and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, feel free to leave comments about the deck. But yeah, I think I th you know like we played recently. We played Is It Flash. You know, within the past week that that I think I just like more. It's a very similar kind of deck. But I think I like the the red spells more than than what we had there in black. <clears throat> now, could we have made Could we made a black version that was that was better? Maybe. There's a lot of good interaction with black. You know, you do get noxious grasp and everything like that, but I don't know. I, I didn't love the the 75 that we had there, especially the spy glasses. And I don't like the spy glasses in this deck either. I think these these decks they gotta gotta just move around move away from Spyglass. It's not the the Oko decks are like they're playing answers for Spyglass, even the main, like they're playing Brazen Borrower or Vraska's Golgari Queen or all this other stuff. Like Spyglass is not very good. Well it's not nearly as good as it was before. Alright, but that's Tamir Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.